What is your business, young lady? It's my third shift and you're still here. Oh, you must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice to see you again. I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. Please, I need to go look for someone. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Be that as it may, I cannot let you, given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well, everything seems fine in the city. Are things really that bad on the front lines? That's why we must stay vigilant, so people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Gion is currently there at the Norfall Baron's base. Dangerous as it is, he will keep an eye on every soldier, including the one you're looking for. We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Please let me through. I pr I understand your concern. I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. <laughs> Listen, nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass. <clears throat> Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. I intend to leave the city with them and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh... Well, it says you have the highest level of access. So, no procedural issues here. Honestly, he could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass, and no one would question it. Sure. So you're looking for the relative of a veteran. And you believe he's in the Midnight Rangers camp in Deseret Highland? Mm-hmm, exactly. His name is Ji Yuan. I don't know him in person. On my way down the mountain, I ran into his grandfather who was looking for his grandson on his own but ended up lost. I couldn't just leave an elderly person like him out there, so I thought I'd escort him to the nearest city and make further plans once we're safe. You're willing to go to such lengths with someone you don't know. You have a kind soul, Master Tianxing. It's all thanks to many kind-hearted people. Without them, Mr. Zhongya and I wouldn't have made it to Jinzhou. This mango scene? It's got some fresh-looking leaves, soft, springy skin, and eight fleshy segments fully ripened inside. It looks like a nice fruit. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhongye's grandson is very likely in the Deserok Highland. <sighs> Thanks to your help, I can finally leave the city to find him. Of course.
You don't look like soldiers. Why are you here? The frontliners are right up ahead. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. A missing person. Jui, the one you're looking for, is he an average person? Not a resonator, I suppose. Yes. Have you seen him? Is he all right? I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secretly following our troops since last year. I think a quartermaster of the rear guards escorted him away, so if he's not in the city, he must be in the rear guards camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front lines are right up ahead, and we the Midnight Rangers would never allow non-servicemen to approach and risk getting killed. Thank you. Now, if you're heading that way, I have a request for you, my outrider comrade. On your way there, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Could you go check on them? Sure, we will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your terminal. interest you here. It's dangerous. Oh, uh, we, uh, nothing really. You see, we're just on our way south to the city. Excuse me, about this detection beacon. Run, everyone! I, I can't move. So hungry. Please don't arrest us! We really had no choice! What happened? Do you need help? The battles are getting real bad up north, and we couldn't live there anymore. Figured we have to go back to the city. We ain't eaten in ages, and we're broke. Some of us can barely move, cause we're so damn hungry. Then we found some expensive-looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these things, we thought it might get us a few pennies. A damage detection beacon might result in a sudden TD invasion from the direction it covers. Our frontline troops would face attacks from both sides. Have you thought about the consequences? We ain't got the time for that. If we don't steal, we'd starve to death before the tacit discords kill us. You shouldn't be stealing public property. Please, return the parts. There's still some distance from here to Jinjo City. Here, you can have my flatbreads. Oh, and here's some money. This should be enough for you to reach the city. 
You're giving us all of these? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you! Come over and say thank you before you eat. It was nothing. Master once told me, the sage takes care of all men and abandons none. yourselves or you'll be lucky to leave in one piece we're begging you stop we surrender take us in why did you attack us when i already gave you food and funds do you have other mouths to feed aside from what we see here hmm they seem trained these are not ordinary people uh, of course we're ordinary people. We, we just we just joined the Exiles recently. We done some wrongs. We tried to run from the patrollers and left the city, but <laughs> dang! Didn't know the battles up north were so crazy. Our new boss ran out of food before we could even figure out the camp. Figured we'd be better off just to go back. Then we ran out of food and cash halfway, so we turned to thieving. We ain't got the balls to rob the army, but with stuff just sitting around, why not? Hey, since you're being so generous, how about you throw a little extra cash our way? There's a bunch of us, some injured too. Your first amount ain't gonna cut it for us to survive. No, wait. What I gave them was more than enough for them to make it to Jinjo. I used to travel alone when I left my master. I know how much it takes for someone to survive. Hey, what's wrong with you, girly? It won't hurt to give us more. Pain comes with coveting. He who knows he has enough is rich. It was only meant to sustain you long enough for you to reach the city. You don't understand, girl. You don't make money very easily in a time like this. If we can't find jobs in the city, we're gonna starve again. I came from a seclusive place, learning the ways of the world from scratch. It's been a- If you really can't find any job in the city, come to Liu Xian Tea House and ask for Jian Xin. I will gladly help you search for jobs and work alongside you. <sighs> fine, fine. We'll go. Hurry, move, let's get out of here. I'm not listening to this lecture anymore. No, I wasn't trying to- Wait, please put that down. Ugh, quite the sharp eye you got. Fine, here you go. Hmm, is this the only detection beacon you messed with? Heck yeah! The first one we were trying to steal and you bumped right into it. Really? Then why does that one over there seem broken too? Th that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's been that way for ages, plus we ain't ever reaching it with all those thorns. I see. You may leave now. The military's base is not far from here. Shall we fix the b-
it to me. Verity shines. Let me be your blade. Tempest! Please, don't worry. Severin! Speeding up. Shake the Shapeless! Appear before me. Master Tianxing, are you alright? This is my first time on a battlefield. It feels so different here. I know another shipment of supplies has just arrived. I've confirmed it, but it's not nearly enough. We must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately. But the approval process is going to... Tell them it's an emergency! We are working around the clock here. Any delay could mean the end of our defense. Do they not all talk to them if you can't make them listen? Now go, go, go. Move, move. What is it? Why are we still not done distributing these? You new here? Are you backups too? Wait, you don't look like one of us. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. And they are... Excuse me, one moment, please. Careful! This chest holds vital medical supplies. If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handle with care and precision. An outrider. So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just in time to help. Oh, sorry. Have to answer this. Yes? What is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'll be there immediately. I'm sorry. Um, could you do me a favor? The, the wounded soldiers are being sent back from the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. Thank you. 
It's so busy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Things are always like this in the rear. The frontline soldiers focus solely on battle, following orders and striking enemies. But in the rear, personnel must juggle numerous tasks. Supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance, personnel management, and logistics. They must carefully manage these matters to provide vital support for our fighters. So this is what a real war looks like. <sighs> Most people would never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for. To ensure peace and safety for our citizens. It's a sacrifice made so others don't have to live in fear. Are you all right? Uh, I'm okay. I'm just, just a little out of breath. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'll go find a medic. Like I said, it's not a big deal. No need to fix me up. Please calm down. Your wound is still bleeding. That's barely a scratch. You can't stop me. <sighs> That's not bravado. My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medics should go take care of other people in need. Stop squirming, will you? We're here because you need our help. Please hold him still for me. Sure. Thank you for your assistance. You must be tired. Please, take some rest. They look badly injured. Don't worry. They've received proper treatment now. They'll recover in time. Thanks to General Jian, we've seen a significant drop in the number of casualties. I've heard from veterans that soldiers used to be ordinary people, not resonators. The battles were brutal even back then, with the stench of blood lingering through the rain. But things have improved. Each injury represents countless tacit discords eliminated by our brave soldiers. Resonators in the Midnight Rangers are incredible warriors. Those who have to retreat from injury must have already taken out hundreds of enemies. They are the ones keeping our people safe. What I've been doing is not worth mentioning compared to them. Please don't put it like that. Without your help, we couldn't have helped so many wounded soldiers in such a short time. Now that they're all safe, you should go and take care of your own issues. Thank you. May I ask where the Quartermaster is? The Quartermaster isn't here. He's on the floor above, directing munitions distribution. Rover, where are we going next? Here are some recipes for dietary supplements from my sect. They might help the wounded recover sooner. Oh, great. You have my thanks.
Have you confirmed the inventory? What about a spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. You are, deliver this list to Asha. Uh, you're not you, huh? Where is she? What do you need? Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. This is Rover, and this is Master Tian Xing who came here to look for someone. Ju Yen. So he never sent a letter home? Not even once. The Midnight Rangers are no longer recruiting non-resonators lately. <laughs> but Ju Yen was a stubborn boy. Last year, when the battles hadn't gotten so intense, he would trail us rear guards, eager to join the front line. Now, we sent him back to the city time and time again, and he just kept finding ways to come back. <laughs> Eventually, I caved and took him in to help us here in the base. With the battle escalating, it's getting increasingly dangerous out here. I shouldn't keep him here any longer. I was just thinking about having the logistics team bring him back to the city when you guys showed up. Oh, now I remember. He should be currently on the floor above. I saw you help arrange the wounded there. Your show lamb would need your help more than I do. Thank you, but I must remain to oversee vital military supplies. Sure. Please excuse me. I'll join you later. What? What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> Please excuse me. Thought that was a grenade. <laughs> Is this... A mangosteen. Well, it's not a local fruit, so we can only get it through imports. But with the recent tacit discord outbreaks, we've had to prioritize bringing in the essentials. We'll get back to importing more of these after General Jian makes his triumphant return. Now, currently, there's only one waterway open from Port Gunchao in the south of the city. Hmm, what more do I know? The military rarely buys this fruit for rash. Master Tianxing, have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhu Yan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhang Ye to let him know he is safe. Zhu Yan is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering. But the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, The best sages gain enlightenment in the military. The mediocre sages gain enlightenment in the bustling cities. And the worst sages gain enlightenment in seclusion. I do share some of Juyan's feelings. However, Julian disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators, and believed he could contribute on the battlefield, however small that contribution might be. I too found what Julian said was reasonable to an extent, and I couldn't change his mind with words. So I tried to imagine what my masters would do. They'd set up a spar in this case, and if I won, they'd let me do what I wanted. I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing. My masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring, and I gained important insights from those fights. Now, who do you think won that fight? The shape changes, but not the forms. The more it moves, the more it yields. Less thinking, more knowing. Simplify for clarity. Yes, I pretended to lose, 
But Ji Yan saw it through. After our fight, Ji Yan admitted he saw the gap between resonators and ordinary people. He seemed to realize how he was still far from being able to fight the tacit discords. He realized how he was just trying to convince himself that he could make a difference, not wanting to acknowledge his own limitations. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, let's catch up at Liu Shan Tea House. It's my great pleasure to have met you. Us running into Master Tianxing was a one-off incident. If the magazine indicates something about war, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Have you thought of something, Rover? I think. wants to tell us about the TD outbreak? If those tacit discords break through our defenses, it would be a disaster for not just Huang Long, but for all of humanity. <sighs> we haven't reached the front lines yet, but I can already smell the iron in the air. I sense tension and unease. Our soldiers stationed at the borders. <sighs> I hope they're okay. General! to advance. 
Bastards. Tell truth from the side. What's the matter? Are you all right? Oh, I was worried. You just stood there and gazed into the distance. You were unresponsive when I tried talking to you. What did you see? It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. I think I saw what was happening in the Norfall Barrens. An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Qinglong. The Qinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's also the front lines are not far from here. General Tian must be there, fighting alongside our soldiers to keep the tacit discords away. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tian was leading an attack against the tacit discords. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. The battle itself is a clear sign of an anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Rover, something on that battlefield must be connected to you. Though we have no idea what it is. Resonate with tacit discords? According to Baija, the leaves showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Those fluctuations pointed to a certain set of coordinates. And that is... Teacher Village and the Central Plains. reflect on my goals and plans, those voices in the streams become clearer, and everything starts to make more sense. Rover, perhaps you can give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> 